Hey! <laughs> All right. Oh, Jesus. It's black. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Come here. Hey. Up. Come up here. Oh, yeah. He's like all over it. <laughs> all right, dude. What is up, dude? How are you? I am good. I think we're live. I don't know. It's, uh, lagging on my end over here but we should be good i'm just like so proud of you <laughs> thank you hey. that was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun it was a trip you know to like have the world shut down and be like okay you know what do you do and um my girlfriend is an engineer you know she's like a serious engineer so she had the keys to the studio and Clint was like dude you need to do a solo record and i'm like there's nobody to play with, you know, like the world shut down. And uh, he said, I got some ideas, you know, that I've thrown together and I'm not using them. And if it's a direction that you might like, you know, play some drums on it and write some vocals and do whatever you want with it. So he like wrote these riffs and I just started going crazy lyrically, you know. That's awesome. I mean, I, I was going to play it at the very start. I'm definitely going to play it later on um, before we and I'm going to play the answer, which I think is just like it's a really solid song. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, man. So congrats on that. I mean, last time I saw you. <laughs> Whacked out, you know, and the guy said, we're going to take you. We're waiting on a bed and we're going to bring you upstairs. And I was like, OK, I got to fly out tomorrow. And they're like, you're going nowhere like for we don't know how long and um so i was there for two weeks and then so they canceled the european thing they said if i'd have gotten on the plane i'd have probably died on the plane so it was really close yeah. uh and then so then we we're looking at these you know acoustic shows uh to end the year and i wasn't gonna do them you know they told me if you feel up to it you know the doctors were like the only thing that could happen is you could rip the stitches because they had to cut me open. So they're like, you know, if you can deal with the pain, we don't think that you'll rip the stitches. It's acoustic. So it's not like fully going for it or anything. And, uh, you know, you should be all right, but you're probably going to be exhausted and you might feel some pain. So it's up to you. And I was like, I'm going to do it, you know, because I'm so glad I did it because you know, with the exception of some live streams, you know, I haven't played in front of people since we were with you. Oh my God. You guys, so, have, you guys have had, I think you've done more live streams than any other band. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's ridiculous. It, that's it though. I mean, I can't see us doing any more. It's like, know? what it's else like, could you come up with? Like we were talking about doing a second one and we we're like, so we just play the other songs that we don't like to play. <laughs> right. Yeah. Know. Well, what do we do? I mean, we've, we've got like a thousand records, so right. it's like, well, we could do this one, you know, we'll do this one too, you know, but I think we've run out of the ones that anybody would want to hear from top to bottom anyway. So uh, that's it. I mean, those, those things are so, it's cool, you know how it is. It's like, it's cool to be with your boys and to hang out and to play some of those songs. I mean, some of them we'd never played ever. So it's like to learn those and do that was really cool. But, you know, then it's like, okay, it's time to play. And it's like, we're all the people. Right. You know, cameramen. Sucks. Just cameramen. Yeah, you know, it's weird. You know, it sucks. Did you have the so. TV facing you or you got to, like, see, like, I, I had to look at myself awkwardly. Like, it was, like, me on a TV. And I'm like, ah, stop. Like, stop it. No, <laughs> Did you turn that no. TV off? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't have that. But, uh, but there were, like, lyric sheets up there and stuff, you know. So big one like okay well be the guy you know do that guy that you do when you're live and i was like that's 
dude ain't here. You know, <laughs> that, guy, that guy needs some people, you know, and to be a little whacked out, you know, this isn't that that vibe for me. So yeah, I don't like videos. I didn't like the live stream stuff because, you know, it's like, I mean, I'll play hard at rehearsal and stuff just because I like playing. And you need to get uh, it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I definitely was, you know, everybody's getting a little pissy now. You know, it's starting to get to where it's like, okay, you know, right. we got to do something. We got to figure something out. So we are figuring something out. We're, yeah. we're going out. Like, it's happening for sure. Uh, your video went away. Oh, there you Hold are. On a second. There. So you're good. Uh, so wait, so yeah. wait, tell, t can you tell anyone or I know it's not announced. Are you allowed to say anything? Uh, nothing, nothing's announced, but I know it's coming in like a few weeks. I'll probably get in trouble for just saying that, don't, but we're going. Don't say anything we're definitely yet. definitely going. That's yeah, awesome. We're, we're, yeah, sooner than later, you know, so it's, and it's, you know, I mean, our main objective is to make sure that whatever happens and however it's put together that, you know, the people are safe, you know, right. so as much as I'm not really into playing and pods and social distanced and all that stuff i mean nobody anybody that says yeah man that's gonna be great is just lying you know like it's people with weird. the mask on in the crowd not like trying to sing yeah. along but you can't even tell if they like it because you can't even tell yeah. if they're smiling or yeah. pissed <laughs> right so it's like it, it'll be weird you know but it's a step you know like whatever we have to do to make sure everybody's safe and to make sure that uh you know that we all can start at least visualing you know, visualizing each other a little bit seeing each other yeah I so. think the energy of getting the band together is is definitely something i mean uh decker i think decker's fiance is in the chat somewhere but you guys know each other pretty well from ship rocked from the late yeah. night pizza hangout oh yeah yeah of course <laughs> of course basically it's the only yeah. place on ship rock that's oh well i guess the, the casinos are open are they open all night no no, See, I go to bed at like ten. Late, on though. yeah, I'm I'm lame. I I've, I've been going to bed at like nine, maybe here. It's so bad. Yeah, it's so bad. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's weird. It's like I went out to eat last night and we got back at like close to ten, and walked the dog and it was like done. You know, like that was a late night, ten thirty or something. How are we gonna like get to the tour schedule again? Like. It's going to be yeah. so late. Oh, speaking of, um, I had John Moyer from Disturbed on here last week, and he texted me today yeah. to tell you. He, he said hi, so he wanted me to say oh, hi. Oh, yeah, I love him. He's yeah, pretty awesome. We go way back, me and John Moyer. We I go way bet. way back. I bet. I mean, Seven Dust has been around since, what, 94? We got signed in 96. 96. And then 97 was when I met John. Uh he was in a band called Soap, mm. and they were from Texas, <laughs> and <me>. they can't <laughs> bless you, bless you. And uh, so they they came out on the Roar tour. Uh, basically, we've been of course turned into streamers this this entire time because I don't know what else are we gonna do. So uh, yeah. management's like, you like video games? Uh, why don't you at least play it online? And like play it with like you know the people watching. There's a whole chat room here. Everybody's saying very nice things about you. Everybody's really <laughs> stoked. Uh, I don't know if you can. You have your phone there, so you probably can't see the chat. But um, but yeah. Uh, so you've been playing drums. Uh, so <laughs> I think it's cute because I I did a little bit of like research and and your nana bought you a drum kit, right? Yeah. I just yeah, it's so cute that you called her your nana. Yeah. You were like four or I five. Was... Yeah. Yeah. I tell everybody I was like, I was started my drumming career at four and was retired at five, you know, <laughs> and then, uh, but I wanted to play baseball, you know, I wanted to play sports. I played sports growing up and that was going to be my thing and, uh, started trying to get ready to, to really try to make a run at it, uh, in baseball. And then just out of nowhere was just like, I, I think I'm going to play drums instead. And everybody is like, what are you talking about? You know, like you had, I mean, I would noodle around. I didn't know what I was doing, but I came to California in like 1990 to go to school here. I went to MI, which has shot out many great drummers. Uh, you know, Ray went there and uh, Chad went there, Chad Smith. I mean, a ton, tons of drummers have gone to MI and, and most of the guys that come out of there go on to do something really cool. 
uh, whether it be touring or teaching or whatever. Uh, but I went there and I had no clue what I was doing, like zero. I, I was like clueless and just a little, you know, kid from Georgia that had no idea what I was walking into. Um, first person I ever met here, I walked into the apartment I was going to live in and John Prashante was sitting in a chair playing this guitar that he had made that had naked girls all over it that he had like stuck all the pictures on and lacquered it on there. And he had purple hair down to his ass. And I was just like, who's this dude, you know? And uh, my roommate had be become friends with him before I got there. And he wasn't in the Chili Peppers yet. Uh, so that was like my introduction was, this is crazy. You know, we'd, I, I hung out with jocks, you know, and all of a sudden it was like, this is Los Angeles. I'm on Party Hollywood City. Boulevard, you know. Right. So I, I got wrapped into all the fun stuff really quick. Same. Like I met up with... <laughs> Yeah, it was weird. It was like I ended up being friends somehow with these guys that knew the band Kicks. It was like the hair metal stuff was their hair hair rock was still happening then. And uh so I ended up hanging out with all those people and I just never went to school. So I never went to school. And after 6 months, I basically was like I think I want to get out of here. Like this place is eating me up. Uh, the band that I, this is how weird it is, is that like back when I was growing up, you know, back in the fifties, it was like, they would put ads out and it would say looks and attitude a must. They didn't even really care if you could play, you had to look cool, which immediately I had a problem. You know, it was like, I didn't have the hair like everybody. I wasn't this, you know, good looking dude, like everybody, you know, they all, you know, had the puckered up lips and the perfectly whooped to the right hair dudes. And I just, yeah, I just didn't have it. And uh, so I like would straighten my hair and do all this to try to fit in with these people. And I finally did. Uh, and they had me in their band before I ever played a note, just, <laughs> just looks and you attitude look cool. were a must. Yeah. And that was before and, tracks. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Way before. It. Must have sounded yeah, great. Before, this, this is, so anyway, they got me in this band, and finally we rehearsed, and we rehearsed one time. I'll never forget the name of the band. The name of the band was DC Punks. I'll never forget it. And they were cool. They were they, – I loved the band. And um, so I rehearsed with them one time, and then they were like, we don't want you in the band anymore. Like I was one, one rehearsal in fire. So I was like, now they didn't even want to hang out with me. So now <laughs> it was like, I got no, got no friends, uh, flunking out of school. This place is eating me alive. I mean, I walked into a room and watched this guy I was hanging out with shooting heroin. You know, like, I was like, this is insane. You know, I am not well equipped for this. So I jumped in, in my car and I drove back to Atlanta and tail between my legs no bands, no, no friends, didn't know what to do. Baseball is done now. I've, you know, wasted this drumming opportunity, flunked out of school and uh, just started playing in like garage bands and started to get it together a little bit then, and then got asked to join a regular band and uh, started to make my name that way. And then I started putting bands together about four or five bands. in. I put this one together, seven dust together. Guy, I, I don't even know how I just went off on that tangent, but somehow or another, I got there. No, I was actually uh, doing the research on it. I didn't realize it was you uh, pretty much almost, almost the entire lineup that you have since 1994. Like you've kept all yeah. of those guys, like how the hell, <laughs> how like yeah. you must really 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 love each other to be able to like deal with each other for that freaking long you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah i mean it was like it was weird because we started out and it was real easy i mean i put the band together off of personalities it was really you know it had very little to do with talent Clint was the last person that I got in the band and I liked Clint, but he was the one I knew the least at the time. And uh, I knew that it was like, okay, we're good enough to do some damage here, but we need that extra little thing. And I knew I wanted him. Like he was my favorite guitar player 
back then and he's my favorite guitar player now he's my best friend like i adore him but back then it was just like he was in a band with his brother like it was not going to be easy to get him but i wanted him he was the last person that i got into the band and uh i mean shit it was like only a few months after he was in the band we got a record deal so i was just talking to him about it today he's actually. pretty good then. i lied <laughs> Oh, yeah. I told him I went up and saw he played a show in Atlanta with his other band. And I went up there with a cassette tape and I said, man, we got labels looking at us, man. Everybody's looking to sign us. And I played him the tape. And he was like, damn, man, this is this is cool. I played him like Black and a few other songs. He's like, man, this is really cool. I was like, man, labels are coming. There wasn't any labels. <laughs> <laughs> you know? No, but I was lying to him right away. Right. And, uh, but he did it, you know, he did it. I told him today, I was like, the best move I ever did, best move I ever made in my life was talking that trash to him that night. So, yeah, that, yeah. you guys have been through, through the ringer. I mean, when you got signed, that was when in the nineties, that was when like, when people gave bands money, like labels actually like, oh, yeah. like, yeah, it wasn't just penny. I mean, you would obviously get your advance, but, uh, and that was pretty much all the money you see from the music. Yeah. But um, yeah. it's so how different is it now uh, with labels? Is it, I mean, it's just so, it's changed so much. Well, I mean, for us, it was weird. It was like, we didn't, you know, everybody says the same thing when they're that young and they're that naive and, and not even naive really isn't the big thing. It's more like you just want to back then, at least, you know, you wanted a deal you wanted to have a chance to go out, you know, everybody says the same thing. If we could just play in front of people, man, we'd be big, you know, like everybody says it, you know, you really would, you believe me if you heard us, you know, it's like that <laughs> right. kind of shit, you know, and, uh, but we were like, we were on a mission to destroy other bands. Like we, we did that at home and we saw the bands that we would go out there and play with early on. And we were like, they have no shot. Like, we're going to hurt these guys. And there were bands that we played with early on where we would open up for them and they would leave us a tiny little bit of the stage and we would be sitting back there and I would tell some of the guys or I'd get them together, I'd be like, nothing. They have all the lights. They have all the money behind them. They have all the production and nothing is going to save them from the next 40 minutes. They can't do shit about the next 40 minutes. We're going to degrill them over the next 40 minutes. And back then there was no slipknot. I mean, and there really was, there was no Disturbed. There was no Godsmack either. I mean, there was none of those bands. Forget about the Lamb of Gods and the bands that really can do some damage, you know, the Gojiras and stuff. Even if they were there, they weren't, they weren't in our circle. They weren't over here yet. And so really it was like rock stuff. I mean, the only bands that were really coming around that were doing stuff back then were like Korn, uh, you know, maybe Limp Bizkit, you know, was out then. Um, Pantera. Yeah, Pantera was just about to be, Pantera was just about to be done and then it was gonna be Damage Plan. But yeah, it was, um, it was wild, you know. There was like Fear Factory and Coal Chamber and Machine Head and stuff like that. But so those bands could do some damage, but they were brand new too, you know. So it was it was a totally different thing. And with the label stuff, they believed in us early on to where they just kept paying for us to be out there. You know, we ended up selling I know we sold over 4 million records for that record company. And I never saw one penny up of album sales, not a dollar uh, from them. Um, but they gave us the money to go out there and play. And we played for, it was 21 straight months, I think. No, yeah, 21 straight months on the first record. And it was... Uh, so it was basically almost two years, bless you. I don't know, I keep sneezing. And, I must be allergic to cats. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but it was weird because, like, we played New York the first time and there was, like, 15 people there. And then we played there 13 times on the first record. And the last time we played there, we were headlining Hammerstein, selling it out, and I believe Godsmack and Kid Rock were opening for us. 
Wow. So that was like our first record went from 15 people there. And then 21 months later, we were selling out, you know, one of the bigger venues there, 4,000 or something, you know, in 21 months. And, uh, you know, it was all different. What? So the label support was great back then. Apparently, yeah. I mean, like, what do you mm-hmm. think uh, made that? I mean, the music obviously had to be one thing. The band as a whole live. What? What do you think made that go from, you know, 15 people at a show to headlining over Godsmack? Like, how did that happen in that short period of time? It was, it was weird. It was like, we, I mean, we were always personable, you know, it was like, we loved the people and we sold 311 records our first week. And we were like, okay, that's about our entire following. And then the next week it did like 450 and we're like, who the hell are those people? I mean, we're <laughs> so green, you know? And then it was like 700. We're like, Oh my God, you know, we're huge. You know, right. we had no idea what we were dealing with, but we would go and play these shows. And like I said, you know, we were, we weren't headlining or anything. So there'd be, I don't know, 15 or 20 people at these shows early on and we'd meet all 15 or 20. And then the next time we'd come through, there'd be 50. And we'd meet all 50 and then it was 200 and we'd meet all 200. It got to a point where I remember some of the people that were of the first 15 or 20 that were like, man, y'all ain't the same now, man. There's like a thousand people people here. here. You sold out. There's people here now, man. You sold (laughs) out, man. We were here from the beginning, you know? Right. Well, come along, man. You know, I mean, it was weird because I really wanted to meet them all, you know, all the way up until, you know, you couldn't. And, uh, and we've always been like that. We've always been super appreciative of the people. We look at them like they're the boss because they are the boss. I mean, the minute that the people don't want to, you know, they don't like the job that we're doing, then we'll be fired. So that we do this is because it keeps us like connected so that we're like still like every single person in this room or a lot of them I see here every time we stream everybody in the chat. Um, and it's just really cool. Hi, Skulls. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's definitely extra special because you guys have always treated me and our band even just like that, like just with like respect and like so sweet and so awesome and, and doing it in the game for this long and not being like jaded about it or anything like that, you know? It's the only thing that we're not jaded about, you know, it's like when it comes to what has happened through everybody else involved, you know, that I'll never say names, but I mean, we've gone through many different people in many different areas. And, you know, it's probably not that much different than, than most businesses, but it's super ugly, you know, like there's, I never expected that certain types of people that I would respect that I would consider close would do some of the things that they've done to us. And, you know, we've made so many mistakes because we choose to believe in humanity, you know? So it's like, you choose to believe the best is still there and that people are still good. And there are many that are, but in this business, you find a lot that aren't. And uh, so the only thing that's pure that's left are the people that support the band, the people that have been there, the people that, I mean, it's transcended now, you know, which is weird. I mean, it's like, you know, you've had people that were 20 years old when we started and they're still here and now they've got 20 year old kids, you know, and they're still here. And I'm like, Jesus. And then the 20 year old kid actually brings his two year old. And I'm like, Oh, you had him young. And they're like, we're bringing him up seven dust. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I mean, great grand fans, you know, it's like, it's, uh, it's weird, you know, but that's that's the testament to the people and i believe you know that we take a lot of pride in that too you know just the relationship it's the last it's the last pure thing left right yeah it's hard to tell like sometimes um especially in the industry that we're in if people are being nice because they want something or if they're actually genuinely give a shit you know like like actually care yeah. it's hard yeah. to tell sometimes um i just kind of like give everyone the benefit of the doubt and then just you know, be nice to everybody. But. Yeah. Um, so you have a clothing line, alienfreakwear.com. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you tell us about it? That's been out for a, a long time and it's 
started to ramp up over the last few years. Um, you know, we had some offers to go super commercial with it and I wasn't interested. It was really more of a hobby. Um, you know, I was sitting there doing a signing one day and Vinny was next to me and he was taking so long, you know, I mean, that it's like Vinny's the politician, you know, Vinny is, you know, kissing babies and hugging mamas and, you know, it's like, it, and I love doing that as well, but there was a lot of people in the line and they were yelling at us to hurry it up. And so I'd be signing my name and then I'd hand it over and the person would be waiting and kind of looking at me and I'm like, so what's up, dude? How you, how you doing? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know you, but let's chat and going person by person. So I ended up signing that little alien face to kind of take a little longer with my signature. That's how... <laughs> weird it is that this happened and uh so we get through the whole line and i signed that that little alien on a few things and um then after it was over we were going back to the van and people were outside the van asking me if i could sign that alien on their stuff that the ones that i didn't and i was like okay so i did it and then i signed something at my house and somebody saw it and said you should put that on a t-shirt and i was like who would buy that? You know, it's just a little face. A, little a lot of face. people. <laughs> and it got, it ended up happening, you know, so, and we do a bunch of stuff on there. We do some, a bunch of charity stuff and it's a cool spot for like, you know, game used gear and shit, you know, anybody that's interested in that stuff, you know, we're going to, I think we're going to do something really cool when we start back up and, and put something out. But I mean, through that, I've really been humbled, you know, seeing, the support that I've gotten through that. I mean, there's some, there's people on there that, I mean, they just get it all. They buy everything on there. And now I've become close with them. Cause I'm like, geez, man, I mean, it's like, everything's on there. Right. To buy it all. So that's, that's seven dust people though. You know, seven dust people are just loyal. Different. You know, they're fucking loyal. Man. Yeah. Crazy loyalty is so big. Like, like the band members, your the people that you work with, and the label, and the management, all that stuff, and loyalty, and um, I guess believing in you know it. I don't know. It's like if you're all on the same path is so important. Um, there's this girl Allison Unread. Uh, she's in this band called Roses Unread. She says that her drummer named their kid after you. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that's super thank cute. you <laughs> that's super cool though so thank you i yeah. hope to meet the little cherub one day i'm sure he'll <laughs> probably be at a show when i'm 90 and how fucked up it was and how you know i was able to get through some dark stuff and i wasn't going to do that screaming i was going to do it calmly so yeah yeah there's this there's this balance and after screaming also for so long and having that intense music around all the time for 20 years yeah. like sometimes you just want to like chill and write like a chill song you know? yeah yeah i want some depeche mode or some u2 or you know or go way back and you know elton john and you know <laughs> stuff like that i like to chill out does everybody else have U2 saved on their phone when they gave it to everybody for free? <laughs> oh, God. It, like, I mean, it was genius. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Here's our album for free. You're going to go and go listen to it on Spotify anyway. You might as well just. How do you yeah. How do you set that up, though, where it's just on everyone's phone? I guess you have to be U2 first. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's just crazy. Those guys are unreal. Right? They're, they're one of my favorites for sure pretty awesome um well thank you so much for taking the time and thank you uh have a good day out in marina del rey uh I yeah lived, i used to go out there and sit by the boats and just listen to the boats kind of cling against each other and the sails yeah. and stuff like that i almost actually I bought a it. boat out there to live on like i was gonna live on one like years ago i was like oh four thousand dollars like Built in 1969, nothing wrong with this thing. Really great investment. Right. Uh, thank God my dad, my dad talked me out of that one. But um, yeah, cool. Well, yeah, right. it's a cool spot. I like it out here. It's super peaceful, and I I do that whole thing you're talking about like five times a day. I go out there and I'm just chilling on the marina. I miss so. I miss Santa Monica because we moved at the beginning of this. We got we ended up getting a house out in Riverside County. 
And I was, you know, riding my bike near the beach all the time. So hold on. Um, uh, and just meditating on the sand and being a freaking yeah. hippie. <laughs> like, yeah. Now I'm yeah. like cleaning up horse shit and stuff out here, but I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> amazing well you have an awesome rest of your day and it's so good to catch yeah, up too. and don't be a stranger okay absolutely i'll see you soon for sure all right i'm gonna close it out with the answer controlled chaos from morgan rose to transition from things like it just shows the google search of the youtube and somehow people do that and it doesn't look as horrible as when i do it but you guys ready for some among us do not judge my bangs i already hate them i am growing them out i got bored this is what happens and it's purple for a minute 
but it probably won't be very long because I already don't like the color. I washed it like three times to try to get the purple to like a silver purple. Hello, hello, hello. Dude, isn't Morgan cool? It's pretty freaking awesome. Um, next week, I'm thinking we just play World of Warcraft because I had somebody cancel. So next week we can do that. Does it? It looks, I don't know if I like it. I miss my eyebrows. You can't see eyebrows. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know what to do with my hair. I don't like purple, but thank you. Who knows what it'll be next week. So let's play some Among Us. There's just not enough colors in the rainbow. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys see a little square on my video? I don't know if you guys know, but I have two foster kittens at the moment. Um, they're both doing really good. Arrange a talk with Ash Costello. I can talk to her and see if she's down. I don't, I just always feel bad. Like people already came on the show and I don't want them to be like, oh God, she's asking me to come on her show again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Sign in. Aren't I already? I've successfully signed in. Announcements. Um, I have, let's see what the schedule is. So next week, I don't have someone because someone canceled unless somebody just happens to pop up and it works out. But I'm pretty much scheduled all through June at this point, just not next week. So I figured we can spend an extra two hours playing World of Warcraft. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the let people see the code in here. You guys just look and first come first serve, serve and jump on. You guys so that way everybody can get a shot. We'll start a new game every time. Um and I'm going to turn the Discord on as well cuz I remembered. Ready guys? See the code? I should go into the Among Us section on this though, shouldn't I? I'm a little unicorn all by myself. Here's my unicorn horn on the shelf. Ha ha ha. You can't even see me because it goes, it just, it follows the, ca the camera. Oh, Allison! Oh my god, Allison. <gasps> That's a great idea. What if we did this? What if I zoom you in and we play World of Warcraft? Allison has amazing band, Roses and Red, if you guys didn't hear me say that earlier. Two more. Um, I haven't seen you in a while, girl. I'm so excited about you got to play a show recently. It looked like it was a lot of fun. And Sepsis Band, hey, you too. We'll just like have some giant Zoom party next next week. Allison and Melissa both play WoW. Awesome. The more the merrier. Hey, Virginia. I don't like the bangs, guys. I like tried to like unbang them, but they're already cut, so you can't really. It's the C is I just cut them myself, so they were they looked like a bowl cut yesterday. And then I tried to like do something to make them not like a bowl cut. I copied Billie Eilish on that. She cut her bangs, so I was like, oh, Billie did it. I'm gonna cut bangs too. <laughs> no joke. Need to know server and all that. Oh yes. Uh Aisha. 
wait. Where are you guys? There, there you are. Join voice. Hi. All right, is it echoey? Is it echoey? <gasps> no echoes. Echo, echo, echo. Don't do that, echo. don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> I think, I think the echo was because you had to turn on the one function and discard. What function? There's a, a noise suppression or like a- Hours maybe to get there super fast. Right. I still haven't played on that character I made, so well, Okay, on. good. Yeah, that character is yeah. reserved for, for yes, it's, all of us. Yes, it's us. <laughs> um, so again, if you guys want to play World of Warcraft with us next week at 6 p.m. Pacific, we're going to play for like two hours. Um, go to uh, Storm Reaver, right? Yeah. The realm, uh, server Storm Reaver, and uh, for the Horde, Blood Elf on Exile's yes. Reach, Reach, I believe. Yeah. And we're level 10, I think, around there. Yeah. They're free to play or you have to pay for service? You have to buy the game. Free the level 20. Buy the game yeah. and then um, subscription. It, it's a retail, yeah. yeah. So it does cost I'm more saying, money than Among yeah. Us, but it, it's something for us to do that's not, I mean, this game is awesome, but we keep doing it, and I feel like we need another game to play together. Yeah, a little more variety. Right. What should we do aside from WoW that's cheap for everybody to get on? And... Um, Hi. Um, well, there's another free game on the PC. It's, uh, well, I don't know if anyone wants to play it, but League of Legends is pretty fun. Everybody can play Fortnite. <laughs> Is it, no. is Legend, isn't League of Legends on like every single platform ever? Yeah, I think so. Should we all get yeah. Fortnite? I've never played it to be honest. I Fortnite, played it's a, it's just yeah, like, we can do Fortnite. Uh, if we play yeah, together, it'll be fun. Fortnite is very goofy. Yeah. It's very cartoonish. If we're gonna oh. do that, we may as well play Warzone. Well, I'm waiting on you for that one. Candy, what'd you find? Uh, Chaos is dead. That's helpful. Aw, oh, he's still sus. Oh, that's why I can't hear anything else. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would say that. Chaos but... killed himself in the... <laughs> well, I, 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 wonder if I wonder if that's a function in the game. Can you kill yourself in this game? Bro, Red, Red like, said that, like before like the game even started about Chaos Reaper, and all of a sudden Chaos Reaper is actually dead. So I, I thought we, I thought we were voting Jacob out. Why can I never type in this thing? I I said I was old enough. I don't know. I just because Andrew, it, kno it knows your it, it was... knows your inner child. I don't know how to do it. I didn't see this for a six year old. <laughs> yeah. I know there's I... a mod that has like the jester, the sheriff, and that kind of stuff. Like the sheriff actually Are we killed skipping? Uh, the imposter. Are we skipping? Is that what we're... I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, Andy, where did you find the body anyways? It was in a hallway. I don't really know where, though. What room was it next to? Uh, like, uh... I don't... Um... If you... I don't know. I'm gonna go check right now, because... We still don't know the room names. <laughs> I'm like... Uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Oh, no. Are you down to play Warzone, Mixie? Uh, sure, actually. That would be awesome. Wait, what am I doing? Because, um, I've been, we all... I've been studying. Honestly. While getting swole? Me? Yeah. I just like, said I'm voting Jordan. But sure, I killed everybody. Mixie, Mixie yeah. was with me in the cafeteria. Right. Like, yeah. She's a terrible liar, so like, I, yeah, yeah like, she is a terrible liar. That's why she gets punished. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the last time she was trying to lie, she was like having trouble not to laugh the entire time? Yeah. <laughs> For me. Really? Oh, shit. Right. Sorry, Jordan. FYI, FYI. FYI. FYI, the good green, regardless of what Mixie says. You better let me get The good green? There's two because the, Don't touch the what? Because. Are you sure? Shut the hell up. Oh my god. I, 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 got out, I got out early. 
Because he's scared of you. Because there's two greens in the game. I was trying to say I'm the, I'm the good green. That is good. Then the lime green. Shut up. Yeah. I left that room for you. Dude. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna finish my task. I saw he's uh, white or Jacob was in the hallway outside security, and yeah, my alibi is Kendra. But one Jacob is not not the imposter. Okay. Give me one That's second. That's a curse. What was everybody doing? Wow. <laughs> Uh, I didn't see any. I didn't see anyone else. Hey, well, mm. what were you doing over at security? I wasn't at security. I was going to Upper Engine, and Kendra and I were running in the same direction. You said it was right outside security. Sounds so sus to me. I wasn't in security. No. I was going north. I was going up. Hey, you not know what the All right. Means? Okay. Oh. We'll 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 vote Aisha, and then if it's not Aisha, then. Fine, vote me. But Aisha is sounding really sus right now. It's not. I'm trying to figure out what everybody was up to, so that's not sus. You're not answering the question. I was. You weren't listening. Not listening is sus. Well, I said, what were you doing, and you kept on avoiding the question. I didn't. I said I was moving from like I was going from the right hand side of the map, and I was going up sus. to the upper engine. For what? Mixie, I had your back in the cafeteria. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You did. You did. You did. You did. Okay, yes, my bad. Is Mixie betraying you. I'm sorry. Yes. Oh no, I feel bad. <laughs> I said you had cute. Oh, I hate these bangs. They're so stupid. I feel like I'm 12. I, I almost cut mine an hour ago, actually. So. Don't do it, because now I got to grow them back. Uh. Okay, Billie Eilish did it. Billie Eilish, like, always starts, like, she's a fashion guru. So bangs are going to be cool. Bangs are going to be cool, guys. Yeah, well, there you go. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. I tried to talk to somewhere. Mixie killed me first. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I did it. I knew eventually. I knew eventually. I knew eventually she would kill me. Did you did you not hear me at the very beginning? State that like, hey, Red is saying kill, like vote for Chaos Reaper first, and then Chaos Reaper is the first one to die, and nobody votes for a fucking Red. Uh, quick game. Oh, we're we're gonna start new games every time. No, like he said in the uh, chat room, like at the very beginning before the game started. All right, oh, and then leaving. yeah, leaving, and then we're we're gonna start a new game every time, so everybody can have the chance to get in. No. Where are you gonna say the code? It's on the stream. Oh, because I, I, I locked, I locked off Twitch. Uh, uh Chaos, it's U-Y-B-E-K-M. U-Y-B-E-K-M. Yeah. Like, U -Y -B U -Y -B okay, because it, it sounded like four voices in my head. U-Y-B-E-K-M. Wait, wait, you, I... Why, as in Yancy? I'm so proud of myself on that one. I can't believe I, I fooled you, you guys. I, I so blamed it on Aisha. Uh -huh. Mixie, I have you figured out. It's, Mixie's <laughs> finally got away with killing somebody. Mixie, you figured it out. Mixie, you figured it out. Hey, I've gone the way before. I knew, I knew eventually in one of the times, or all the times we ever played Among Us, I knew at least one time Mixie was going to come kill me. And, and lo and behold, she did. I just killed whoever I was That's crossing that wasn't around anyone. I didn't. Sure. It was not. <laughs> I was not targeting you. I, I didn't press the kill button in time. Yeah, I, I, I'm waiting for Mix to get revenge for me chasing her across the map because you saw me and Jordan kill someone. I'm not doing it out of revenge. I'm doing it to try not to try to get away with it. Sure. <laughs> Well, also, on a side note, when I first saw your banks, Mixie, I thought your hair was like a dark blue. I didn't know it was purple on like a different camera view. I just put like a purple with conditioner in it. It'll wash um, out in the next couple washes. It'll be like a silver, probably. Uh, the first time I saw you, I thought it was like a dark blue, though. Oh, I didn't even see what I, I was. Silver hair and forever, Mixie. Whatever. Yeah, when, you first, when you were testing the mic, it looked like you had a dark blue hair. Oh, nope. It's I think purple. the last time I saw you with silver hair was with uh, when I dealt. 
Yeah, I, I, I just have a problem. I can't stick oh, yeah, with this cool. one thing for very long. Very indecisive with your hair. I get so bored so fast. Like I've literally had. <laughs> I've had. Yeah. Oh, already. Okay, I want to know where. Okay, was. now we're gonna talk about revenge. Hey, I want to know. Well, this game's not gonna last long. <laughs> I was dead. <laughs> Just letting you know. Where, where was the corpse found? Stabby stab. So stabby, right? right oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Right outside security? Hey, man, what were you doing right outside security? I was calibrating the engines, thank you. Uh-huh, okay. Your Instagram says yeah. sus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I want to know what Gabe was doing, because he was inside security when I discovered the body. Wait, why is why is Cardano making you nervous? I haven't even seen it. What is Cardano doing right now? I'm dead, so I might as well look at my cryptocurrency. Oh, sweet. I'm just letting it run, Susan. Just let it go. It's one color you have done. Um, uh, yellow. Yeah. Yeah. yellow. Or uh, orange. Thank you. I thank you for for getting me back on that. Hey, I can hear myself again. Repeat. Wait, it okay, went away again. Sorry. Never mind. I think it's only on your end where it seems that way, but yeah, there's options on the Discord that can kind of adjust that. Where? On the options menu on Discord. Oh, I'm about to do shield so everybody doesn't leave. I think when you go into either your account or your voice thing, it'll give you options for like noise suppression or something. I guess I could use the computer Discord. Yeah, you can do that too. Oh, that would be way easier for you. I just don't know if I'll remember my password and stuff. Hold on. Write them down. Write them down as a note on your phone. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. How do I get this to go away? Don't do it. Go away. I trust you. I'm going to scan my green body with my unicorn. Oh, what up? And see if I got any unicorn. Hi, little bro. Wait, Mario's in here? Where are you? Hey, Mario, you should come and play. You can log on the computer by scanning a QR code on the app. I forget. I think it was a recent movie or something. Oh, I don't even know. If well, the thing is, is I got two monitors, and I think Discord is on this monitor, and that means I would have to, like... Hold on, I have an idea. Nobody cares. Would you say prepare to die? I forget the guy's name. I, I, I can't oh, remember, I can't so like I make it smaller. I have to do it when we exit. The guy that's a revenge? I guess oh, I could uh, do tasks. Uh, kill my father, prepare to die. Oh. Uh, and you go by Toya. Toya. Okay, that is Oh, uh, press it, Brian. I watch that shit. They're that's watching the stream and cheating. <laughs> Right? I, hey, you're the one that killed me. On Instagram, there was like almost a hundred different actors who made like tiny little parts to kind of um. I mean, you did that on purpose. Why the hell are you following me? Uh, fix wiring yeah, navigation. Else. Wait, navigation is something. I, don't want to say name, I'm I know that now. Everybody in the you chat the, needs to the, get. The Everybody in the chat needs to get Among Us so we can play. So what's, uh, what other what's games the are there what, 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 that we could all play together? By the way, 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 take the spotlight off you. You're not that great for me to follow you around. Muff 
diver. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of unfair, right? Uh, I could hide it in the beginning where if I make my computer like that. You guys have a little bit of bitterness over this. <laughs> I think we need a new game, guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Do you want to play World of Warcraft after this? Yes. <laughs> Aww. I think, I mean, there's a little bitterness, there's a little bitterness when you get murdered by your friends. <laughs> I thought it teaches you how to murder and lie about it. I'm learning how to lie. <laughs> Med Bay. Because that's how the game works. People like to act or sometimes be delusional and kind of make up little accusations here and there, and that's what kind of fuels the game itself. So I'd sell out the other imposter? Yes. Oh, screw you. Even, <laughs> even, when you're the, even when you're the imposter and not acting or pretending to be or whatever a delusional, that just, just kind of drives this game and how we went from going to kind of liking each other to hating each other every single time we play this game. Oh yeah, this definitely made me Oh <laughs> yeah. This game needs like, to bring well, everybody to get uh, to the death. It's me, it's me. I'm working on it, sorry. Um, I'm almost done. So I got sidetracked. On a side note, what do you think about Woody Harrelson being Carnage? Uh, because I th that's they, they kind of he there he kind of put that as like a cliffhanger for the end of Venom with Tom Hardy where he's in the cage and he basically he's the character of Cletus Cassidy aka Complete. Carnage. I completed my tasks. <laughs> what? Yeah. So yeah. Oh, Kendra got killed in the task. Yeah. Dude, we got lost constantly. But it's been so long since we played. I was, I think, didn't I contact you or email you about playing together, Allison? What? I missed. But I, oh man. We're all going to suck so bad at Fortnite, but I'm totally down. You want to try Fortnite next next week so, instead? Yeah. Or do you want to play now? I'd have to download the whole game and everything, so let's just... Yeah, same. Next week. Next week. All right. Sounds good. Uh, I already have my tasks. Whose task isn't complete? Who, who wants to hit the buzzer? League of Legends. Which one's funner? I'm not playing Minecraft, no, dude. I do not have the patience to punch a tree and build a house. 
PC. Cool. I've never played Fortnite, and I've never played League of Legends. I know that sounds insane, but I haven't. Allison, do you want to play Fortnite with us instead next week? Do you work on... Oh, you don't work on Tuesday nights. Yeah, but we all have the game. You just get the game and then you play with us. I what the cost? I'm looking. Yeah. I pay in New Zealand dollars. I don't know what you guys pay. Uh, uh US expensive. dollars. Yeah, I know you pay in US dollars, but I don't know what the price for you guys is cuz I pay How much higher. how much is retail? Wow. Players can choose yes, either a one month WoW subscription for fourteen ninety nine, a three month. Um, I thought you have to buy the game too. I don't know. That's what I thought too. But I think the, the original game that you guys are playing right now is probably the free one, and then subscription and probably pay afterwards. Somebody, oh, somebody put is retail WoW dying? And some, and then the answer is no. yes. It says yes. It's been dying for the last fifteen years. Rest in peace. <laughs> Forums at blizzard.com says so. Okay, so who we pick? Jordan. It's Jordan. <laughs> you haven't said anything in a while. It's free up to level 20 if you play classic, though, right? Or do you get a trial? Why are no? No, 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 but now we have four people left, so either we keep running around or somebody push the button out of hesitation. Okay, so the there's a task. There's one freaking task somebody has to do. Yeah, well, it's one of the ghosts. Probably is. I'm a ghost. I did my task. Ten bucks is like what just about every game is. Jordan, I'm guessing Jordan, because he's been quiet. Oh no! Ah, uh, shit! I'm wrong. Forty-five percent of the time. What if it's nobody? What if nobody else is the imposter? <laughs> Maybe that's the glitch. Maybe that's the glitch, actually. Probably. Is it, though? Yeah, there's somebody at a random out of here. What about Chaos? He's always sus. Why haven't you guys voted him yet? <laughs> I don't know. I guess no one has the same mindset as you, Mexi. <laughs> Oh my god. So and ah! Is that why you were being so defensive? <laughs> no, actually, I would have gone down on Donovan so hard. What? <laughs> that sounded You guys sound like an old married couple. <laughs> so, 
Well, uh, I'm gonna actually. Merritt just got home, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. But uh, next week, what are we playing? You guys can play Fortnite. another game. Fortnite. Yeah. All right, you heard that chat. Next Tuesday, we're gonna spend two hours on Fortnite. Um, I've never played before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, it'll be fun. Oh, really? Come play with us, Allison. Everybody else in the chat that wants to play, come play. Fortnite. Bye, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna he I'm gonna leave it with a uh, Seven Dust song. Hold on. So, is the rest of us still going or no? This one. Useless pity. You 